I'm the DNA chef and today we are going to discuss and look at the differences and do a comparison between the DNA Super Blender and the JTC OmniBlend. Both are commercial blenders that can be used for commercial and home environments. Both have two, two, two litre BPA free jugs and three horsepower motors. So let's look at the differences. Start with the jug. So on the DNA we will see it has cutting unit with six blades and serrations. Compare that to the Omni Blend that has four blades with no serrations. Next difference is the ergonomic handle, which is round on the DNA, which makes it pretty comfortable to hold and use. Compare that to the square handle and thinner handle on the OmniBlend, which is slightly less comfortable to hold and to use, specifically when it's full of ingredients. Last handle is the actual base plate. So on the DNA, it's stainless steel, whereas on the, on the OmniBlend, it is plastic. As we know, stainless steel outlasts plastic, therefore we can assume that the DNA will outlast the OmniBlend. Let's have a look at the motors. So the DNA has a one and a half thousand watt motor, whereas the OmniBlend has a 950 watt motor. So DNA is 50% stronger in terms of wattage. Another difference is that on the OmniBlend, one can remove this rubber base or bottom plate. Whereas on the DNA, there's nothing to remove. So this, the potential risk is that you get dirt and muck underneath here, which you have to clean. Whereas on the DNA, you don't have to clean nothing because it's built into the machine. Let's now have a look at the actual control panels and see how they differ. So on the OmniBlend, we've got buttons, 35, 60, and 90 seconds. We've got a pulse. We have low, medium, and high speed. On the DNA, it's got a fully digital control panel where it has uh, preset icons, so you can do smoothie with one button press, you can do soups, you can do purees, you can do um, ice creams, there's a pulse button and there's manual control which is, allows you to, speak, to control speed and time. So more options on the digital control panel. Last little test, let's see what the motor sounds like because that could give us an idea on how powerful the machine is, number one, and how smooth it runs. Let's start with the OmniBlend. Did you hear that? Let's start with the DNA. difference DNA is a lot smoother when it starts up and you can see a lot more power coming through in terms of the sound that you hear the proof is in the pudding so in our next video we will demonstrate the difference between the DNA and the OmniBlend until next time you stay healthy bye bye